I wrote these words while traveling at 643 miles per hour at an altitude of 35,004 feet and minus 49 degrees according to the screen that was in front of me on my way to the Holy Land for the first time in over two years. I am beyond excited to return to this magical place inaccessible to me for all this time. And yet, I take this journey cognizant that hundreds of thousands of others, including scores of our Jewish brothers and sisters, are traveling an uninvited path as refugees forced from their homes in the Ukraine due to pervasive war. Still millions more cannot even enjoy that luxury, trapped in bunkers and in fear of their lives while they mount a valiant defense of their country. Last evening, in our Maimonides session, we held a brief ceremony in solidarity with those suffering halfway across the world, based on the high holiday motif of teshuva, tefillah, and tzedakah, repentance, prayer, and charity. We encouraged the students to commit to one meaningful Jewish act in the coming few days in the merit of those in distress. We sang the Achenu prayer together, and we announced a matching fundraising campaign to benefit one of the many worthy organizations engaged in life-saving work on the ground in Ukraine. And yet I wonder, does it matter? Is it enough? Our marginal actions, prayers, and dollars seem inconsequential in the broader scheme. Futile, almost. As we mark the completion of the Mishkan in this week's Parsha, the Midrash points us to a linguistic connection between this event and the construction of the golden calf, for which the Mishkan comes to atone. In both cases, the word Ela, these, is present. Just as we sinned in stating, these are your gods, regarding the calf, so too the beginning of our Parsha reads, these are the accountings of the Mishkan. Rabbi Avraham Arbach former chief rabbi of Tiberia who passed away last year, explains the simul- symbolism of this linkage. Just as many Jews played a role in the appalling declaration of apparent idol worship, adding to the communal betrayal, so too the contribution of every individual towards the Mishkan helped restore that relationship in a meaningful way. The accounting that Moshe conducted ensured that every penny was appropriated properly. But it also highlighted how each was significant in erecting this holy edifice. You are not expected to complete the task, but neither are you free to avoid it. Pirkei Avot. On the practical level, small actions and small amounts of charity do add up. Much is difficult for us to realize. But in a deeper, self-reflective sense, the very choice to do something, anything, signals our aversion to indifference, a statement of solidarity, awareness, and love. May all of our contributions be rendered unnecessary in the very near future. And may we find the courage and feeling to continue offering them until that time. Shabbat Shalom.